Let's now have a look at the users menu which is available at the main menu right at the top and next to the settings. We have the administrator, the admin password, the band list, we have the extended user fields, mail, user classes and users. Also by default you can find the user classes here and the users links here as well. Okay, basically this menu will give you all the available options as the name suggests for the users. So let's go ahead and click on the administrators. In this section you'll find the information about the administrators basically there is only one admin here and that's myself and there is displayed admin permission zero and other options zero if i was to click on the admin it will actually give me more information about this particular member this particular administrator okay so there's some info about myself the email address the level the last visited time and few other things as well all right i'll go back and under users i'll go to admin password okay as the name suggests you will change the password here for your main admin person okay you would actually type the password in here and retype it here as well or you can just use the generate button which will randomly generate a password which you have to remember going down the users list will come to the ban list and basically this is the people you would like to ban from accessing your site First of all, the very first option here is ban list and at the moment this list is empty because I do not have any ban members or any ban visitors to my website. Alright, so the information there is the IP address, the type, date stamp, expires, reason, notes and options. Alright, so basically what we can do at this point of time is we can go and we can hit on add to blacklist. If we do that, basically we are creating a record, if you would like, of a person who is going to be banned from our website. Now we can actually go and enter their IP address here. And then we can actually enter the date stamp and when this expires. So basically, this person is going to be banned from my site from this time and then for one hour, two hours, three hours. And the most we can have is 28 days. Or we can actually put never which means that this user will be banned from our site forever now we can enter a reason here so whatever the reason might be we can enter it here and the notes once we have done that we will hit on create and if we go back to the blacklist that person will be displayed here with their ip address the type the date stamp expires so when does this ban expire the reason notes and the options would be displayed here as well Apart from the blacklist, there's also the whitelist and if you click on the whitelist link here, you'll be presented with a similar page. So currently I do not have anyone on my whitelist and therefore there is no records here. Also take a note that you have the search option here and you can display all or you can actually filter the way you would like. So for example, if you have some people that have been flooding your web page, add them to the group called flooding or flood and once you click on flood and hit on filter it will only actually display the results or the records of those people who have been flooding your website and have actually been put in a ban position so they cannot access your site because of the floods okay like for the blacklist there's also the availability to add a whitelist record here once again we would go and enter the ip address here where i actually enter the expiring date the reason and the note once we are done with that we'll hit on create all right and and once again that will actually populate our list which is available in the whitelist section so this link here okay so it would be added to this list here the next option we have is the failed logins so basically if i'm a member and i try to enter the website to log in and i have actually done a couple of times and basically it's not working for some reason Either my login is incorrect or my password is incorrect or somebody is actually trying to log in with somebody else's username and password. That will actually create a failed login and that particular record would be actually shown here. So we have the date stamp when this occurred, the description, the IP address and the options. Okay, so that's pretty straightforward. And moving to the last section of the banning options, we firstly have import and export. Basically, we would import or export the rules and tables and everything else. So we have the export types. So we have the, first of all, is the unknown, the manual and flood. 
hit counter login failure imported and user and then we have the unknown so basically we can select any of this so for example i'm going to select flood and what happens is here it will actually create csv file and basically i can enter the uh, field separator here so usually we use the comma and the quote we can either use a single or a double quote so if i was to hit on this export it will actually create a csv file which i can then save and use for other purposes exactly the same can be done with the import so basically we are importing a csv file and basically we choose that file from here so you will hit on browse and select that file from your hard disk somewhere and basically you have two options here to replace all existing imported bands or to actually use expiry date time from import we can either select one of those or none or we can select both of those as well so once we are done with that and once we have uploaded the file we have actually set the field separator and we have actually set the quote either to be a single or a double we can hit on import and that csv file will be imported into our web page and that will be used for banning okay then we come to messages ban periods so basically this is when you actually ban someone what sort of information would you like them to see so for example why they're being banned or something like that and the ban period okay so basically this is the band type here the message and the band duration so you have three options three sections here the band type the messages and the duration okay so for example i had before was the flood so basically i can enter some information here you have been banned for for example 48 hours because some flooding has been detected from your ip address and then i would actually go into this drop down menu and i would select 48 hours which is basically two days so when I ban this particular person, they will get the information that they have been banned for 40, 48 hours because of the flooding and their IP address would appear on this on this black list and the actual ban type would be flood. Okay, so there's pretty much all of the ban types here and you can hit on the update once you have actually saved once you have actually entered all the information available here my suggestion is if you're not using any of these band types there's no need to actually go and write the information and then select the band duration as that might actually create some problems later on when you're banning people if you do have a lot of people visiting and a lot of members and everything else the last option here is the options so let's hit on the options and in the options we'll find some basic options about the banning so use reverse dns to allow host banning basically what this means is that this will allow you so if you check this it will actually allow you to ban people by actually using their hosting provider rather than just the ip address okay the next option down is reverse dns access when adding ban and basically what this means is that once somebody has actually been banned their domain address will be actually added to the reason of banning okay set maximum access rate for guests it's currently set to 100 and for the members it's actually set to 200 and basically what this means is how many times can a guest access our website within a time frame of five minutes so a person that's not a member can access our site maybe 100 times but maybe even 50 times for five minutes is a bad idea a bad idea and for members maybe 150 times just to make sure that we are not getting any floods retrigger ban period whether you would like to retrigger the ban period or not and then we have the date and time format for ban for ban lock okay once you're happy with all that we'll hit on the update and also there is the execute button here which will remove expired bands from the list okay so that's pretty much all on banning